Tigers. All right, Justin. Our game of the week tonight was supposed to be Fernandina Beach taking on Yuli. It's been moved to Monday, but this one was all over the place. It was, it was on for Monday. It was off for Monday. It's back on for Monday, and we're still going to stream the game on newsforjacks.com. Yeah, I'm kind of glad it worked out that way because I got the chance to go out and see the Columbia game, and I still get to watch and call that Fernandina Beach Yuli game. Still one of the best rivalries in Nassau County, and uh, you know, West Nassau having a good year, too. They have claim to the county championship, but I like the West Nassau and Yuli game. Great matchup. So that game going to be on Monday night at Fernandina Beach now, right? At Fernandina Beach. It was at Yuli, then moved, and then now back to Fernandina Beach. So glad to see that one happening. So it's going to be at Fernandina Beach. We're going to stream the whole game live on Monday night at 6 p.m. over on newsforjacks.com, Newsforjacks Plus app. Justin Barney going to be on the call for that game. And then we're going to have the highlights during our Monday night right. edition of Varsity for football our you, second you our second monday night football varsity four so i like it i like it how many years do you get a <laughs> chance to do that not very often where we have multiple monday night editions but you know what if it works it works we all love monday night love football it. love monday night football love high school football that's my thing and to be able to have two nights of high school football in one week i love it all right Can't so get enough. let's take a look at your super 10 now most of these guys kind of had the night yeah. off but there is one team toward the top that had a game tonight that we're going to talk about in just a second but let's start here on on the back half. A couple of Monday night games here, yep. Justin. Beachside and Creekside. Both of them have Monday night games. Both of these teams. Creekside's come on lately. Big time. Three wins in a row for Sean McIntyre and the Knights. It's that offense we expected to see week one. Mm -hmm. We're actually starting to see midseason. They are clicking at the right time. That's a good one. I think they win big over Atlantic Coast and then Beachside. I said last week. You made a promise I and did. you broke the promise, I Justin. Did. You I broke did. the promise. I, and I got kind of tripped up in the fact that Ponte Vedra had already beaten Beachside. So my apologies to the Barracudas. They beat Fleming Island. They will be certainly moving up. Great, great team for Pete Duffy. You promised us. Do we, <laughs> do we promise, need to get I a promise, pinky, promise promise pinky promise on this pinky one? Promise. All right, deal. Beachside, you heard it from you. You win Monday, you move up to Super 10. Take care of business, yeah. Barracudas. Let's move up the wall a little bit here. We've got Ponte Vedra and Oak Leaf, both big games on Monday for both yep. of these teams. And we're going to be keeping a close eye on this Ponte Vedra team because Middleburg's been rolling. They're 6-0. Yeah. and oh. At some point, if they maybe beat your number 8 team, the Broncos are going to be knocking at your door. Yeah, they've had, in, in the knock on Middleburg, it's kind of similar to what has been the knock on Beachside early did not play a difficult schedule. They've had a great defense, a great start, the best start since 1989. True. Ryan Wolf has done a fantastic job, but that back end of the schedule starting on Monday night is tough for Middleburg. If they could beat Ponte Vedra, they're going to be in the Super 10. All right, let's move up a little bit more. How about this? Bowles already played this week. Yep. Big win at number five there. Took down Jackson, blanked them. And then number six, though, that game got postponed a yep. little bit farther down, which we were actually looking to keep an eye on that Mandarin-Fletcher game. Yeah, and it, Mandarin actually did play this past week, played first, or, uh, played first Coast in a makeup of a district game. So they actually did get a game in this past week, but they got their game this week move to October 18th. All right, let's slide up. We got to talk about a game from tonight, Justin. Ooh, number three, man. Bradford. Uh, that number three spot might be up for grabs. Uh, tough loss to Newberry, 21-7. Yeah. to seven. <laughs> Maybe not the expectation for the Tornadoes, but I mean, Newberry's pretty good, but, uh, but that's a tough loss. And apologies to Newberry. I picked Bradford to win this game. <laughs> so you gave him bullets and board material. away. 30-8, to eight, I picked a Bradford win. And it was all Newberry. They win the district championship. I said last week on the Super 10, Bradford's marching towards 10 and 0. 9 and 1. 9 and 1. Still a great season for Bradford, but Newberry was just fantastic. Loaded defensive front. Bradford kind of paid the price. Bradford, defensive minded team, and they ran into another Bradford type team tonight. Loaded with college prospects is that Newberry Panthers team. So great one for Newberry and uh, the Panthers down there. All right, sliding up a little bit to the last two teams in your Super 10. Number one, number two. Nice is going to be on Monday. Yep. Another game we're going to be keeping a close eye on. Bartram Trail, still a, a good program in the area. The Panthers have really been rolling. Maybe the surprise of the season so far I think but that's so. a challenge that's a big challenge that Bartram has really kind of held court in that series for a long long time maybe this shoe is on the other foot this year I think that is going to be a close game I know people online don't agree with me there but I do think that is going to be a close game Bartram has really run rush shot over Nice the last few years and Nice has not won the series in quite some time and then I was so disappointed this game Madison County and Range Range was having to go all the way to Boot Hill that game did get wiped off the books due to 
Hurricane Milton, not going to be rescheduled. So Donovan Maslin and the Vikings get a bye week, and they have Super 10, number 10, Creekside, one week from tonight. That's a tough game. That's going to be a game that's going to be pretty good. Uh, definitely a battle of two of the better offenses yep. in the area when we get around to that one. But we got a little ways to go uh, yep. before we get to that one. But yep. another game that's going to be that night that we are really looking forward to. You talked about the Bartram Trail Bears. They're our next game of the week for next Friday. Here's the matchup that we're looking at. Bartram Trail taking on St. Augustine. This is a good matchup, Justin. St. Augustine is. hanging toward the top of your Super 10 for most of the year. Bartram Trail, they were in the Super 10, but yep. just uh, just fell out. But they're trying to get back on the right roll. If they find a way to take down St. Augustine, who knows? Always been an excellent in-county rivalry. You know, St. Augustine won like the first 17 in a row in that series before the Bears broke through. They finally did. They had a little run of their own, and St. Augustine has got back on the winning track. Remember, game of the week last year, and St. Augustine won on a uh, walk-off type situation so I'm expecting an excellent game between those county rivals and uh, gonna be a good one next week that is definitely gonna be an excellent game and if you know nothing about our game of the weeks they have been classic after classic after classic all varsity four football games of the week have done is deliver so we got two of them coming your way next week I'm Monday night it. and Friday night you can watch the entire action over on newsforjacks.com and in that News for Jacks Plus app. And we have a full half hour of high school football coverage coming your way on Monday at 1030 right here on Channel 4. Justin Barney, Alessandra Pombrion going to hold you down on Monday night. I'll be up in Atlanta as the Jaguars are uh, up for something about a, a stadium. Those NFL owners meetings are next week. So Justin and Alessandra are going to take care of things. It's going to be a busy show. It's going to be a fun show. A double dip of high school I football. I love it, action. man. High school football is my thing. And when you can get two the Varsity Four shows, two 30-minute shows, and two games of the week in the same week in a five-day span, I love it, man. I love it.